I had done it for a couple of years and stopped three years ago. I just, you know, life got in the way and didn't find the time and I've been wanting to get back into it because, uh, I don't know, as a taller guy, um, it was something where the idea of, and not being very athletic, the idea of, you know, doing something fast or being really flexible, something I'd never really experienced <laughs> growing up. So having that experience would really introduced me to like, oh, this actually I feel better than I ever have before and then dropped off and then it's kind of intimidating to get back into it. And so when I got an invite from Dwight, who's a friend of mine saying that he's doing uh, classes or that are aimed at larger guys, kind of felt like the universe was trying to tell me something. If I don't do it now, really, when would I? If we're starting with something that's a bit, uh, you know, beginner uh, uh, level, that's something that I can take in my in my day to day sort of thing and try to get better and better over time to make use. Uh, I've done hot yoga like years ago and and uh, and, and uh, with uh, Dallas at uh, Hot Yoga on Twentieth and I and I loved it, but not having that facility at home makes it hard to do it at home. And um, so something where I don't need a lot of equipment, it's right there. I can do it in the park or home or whatever, and. Um, get the benefits and especially in an environment where I think everyone's on the same page it's really gonna help reinforce good habits and I think that that's a big thing for me with this is I just want to get in the habit of it so that way next time <laughs> winter comes I'm hitting the ground running and I can carry it through so that way it's not feeling like I'm a bear coming out of a cave every April